Hi guys, it's Ali at Horse Life No Difference 07. Woo! Fourth video. We're doing this, guys. We're actually doing this. Um, so today I did the triplet video. Um, some people have been oh my god, it's so dusty. I'm sorry, it's just a really dusty box. Um, some people have been doing this, and because I haven't done many videos lately, because I've been away with school and stuff, and a bit family commitments we'll say so i haven't really been able to post videos lately so i decided to give you guys a triplet video so three videos that i was gonna do i promised i'd do in the first video i never got around to doing so today i had a day off so i decided to do it um to get my mind off everything because it's not a people free day i had the day off for family reasons so, it kind of got my mind off everything, luckily. So, I decided, what the heck, let's do some videos. But both my parents are at work, so I had nothing else to do. Um, I am ready to show you my horse box. Most people, oh, guys, I'm sorry, it's so heavy. Most people don't have one of these. I do, because I want to remember everything, honestly. Because I at least started leasing, when I started leasing my horse, I'm like... Jesus Christ, it's hard to remember everything. So I started writing stuff down and stuff like that. So I ended up making the writing patch book. Now, it's really a book about my journey through writing and how I've developed. I'm actually printing out my photos today. So, completing this is a really big step for me. Um, as I've been saying, I'm going to complete this for a while. So, yeah. This, I would I would say, you guys should definitely, this is some DIY tips also. Definitely do a scrapbook. Scrap, oh, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, I kind of broke something. Like, my thing kind of stuck to it. So, but luckily, this folder is removable. So, I'm just going to get another plastic folder. Um... So yeah, definitely do a scrapbook to help you mem <laughs> memory remember everything that you've done with your horse because it's good to remember. Um, next thing I have, when I was at the International 3 Day event, I was, I, I actually love Pride's Easy Feed. It's, I, I, I use it for my horses. It's such a good brand. You should definitely go check them out. It was at the International 3 Day event. So I'm like, I'm going to go to the stand. I watched them talk about gastric ulcers, causes, and prevention. And guess what? My horse got a gastric ulcer. I knew what to do. So I got like 20 sheets of these. Not of just the gastric ulcers, of problems. And oh my god. I'm, I'm just showing this one. But oh my god. Has it helped me so much? Honestly. I've, got, I've had like problems and I'm like... I know where I can fix it. In this thing. In this book. Um, and it just told me everything. Yeah, and the diagrams. I was pretty impressed. Um, so that provides easy feed. Then you get like pamphlets. Which feed should I use? Actually, oops, scratch that. Let's scratch it. Um, and um, yeah, it has like. Do you think you can see that? Yep. And um, just definitely go check that out. I use Easy Ride because of. For pellets for sport and pleasure horses. Sport. Um, and also, they gave me... It's kind of mushed now. Um, <laughs> Pride's Easy Ride, Easy Feed. Sample. So, I was hoping that I'd use it before. But they didn't really have a do bad day, don't it? So, it never goes off, really. So... It's splitting. It actually smells really good. I would want to eat this if I was a horse. Um, so, really, just cool. So, yeah, if you guys ever do, just go out and try um, it, three day events and stuff. It's really cool. Um, the next thing the ultimate book of horse and rider, the complete encyclopedia of horse breeds. I have so many tabs. Um, just set jumping, how to ride, breeds of horses. Honestly, I rated the pages. I, know, I rated everything. Um, 
The next thing I have is horse and horse, wait, horse and horseman. Um, because I'm more of a bush kid, so I kind of like the Wild West. So this is kind of like stories of horsemen and their horses. The next thing I got, oops, sliding out, um, is Totally Horses Six Awesome Horse Stencils. I got this for a birthday present. I've never used it. I'm selling it. Actually, I'm giving it to one of my friends who likes horses. She young. Oh, shit, I'm dropping everything. Um, so I'm gonna give this away. If you're watching this video, I'm so sorry, but I'm never gonna use this. I got it when I was like eight. I'm not gonna use that now. Um, I just told you I have everything horsey in this box. Um, the riding patch horsemanship. Woohoo! Um, holiday horsemanship I did, um, this was, wait, this was beginners horsemanship, get into my certificate, horsemanship basic skills certificate of completion. The next thing is the registration form for the intermediate skills, my intermediate one, woo, I did advance but it kind of never got put in this book and I never got a certificate for it. So I'm actually kind of upset about that, but I'm going to do that again one day and get my certificate and get my folder. <coughs> um, so yeah, I'm actually kind of really upset about that. I'm going to cry inside now. Cry. Um, the next thing I have is horse deals. Now this was September 2015 or so, kind of a long time ago, but I kind of kept all my horse deals. I'm only showing you one, otherwise I'm going to be here all day. Subscribe to it so if you want to be here all day, it's all good. Um, the Barracue Horses. My mum bought me this because she liked the little pony on the front. And because she thought that was horse deals. Um, the next thing I have is RM Williams Outback. The hug of the Outback. This kind of thing it has horses in it, so my mum. Bought it. She has a lot of stuff. Everything that has horses in it, she'll buy. And I'll be like, okay, didn't really need that. Um, the Pictural Encyclopedia of Horses. It's kind of like a picture book. Saying everything about every breed of horse. So, kind of like liked it. Um, the next thing I have is Summit Veterinary Clinic. This is um, the vet that I'm dropping everything that my riding school uses. So they're actually a really good vet, and this is my riding school, the riding patch. I'm not showing you that number. The riding patch in in South Australia. So promoting, she's probably gonna kill me now. Um, 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 um. Oh my god! I mean, like ribbons and knots. Um. Oh my god, all my videos are so long today. I'm so sorry, everyone. I think I've made it. Okay, I have my first Jim Carner ribbons. I know I was like younger when I did that. Um, I've got two firsts. Two firsts. One, two, okay. Three, three seconds. And two fourths. See, one was meant to be a third, but then they kind of ran out of third ribbons, so I kind of got a brown one. I had a purple one, but lost that one. I tie my ribbons off in knots. Some people roll them, but I honestly don't have the time to like specifically roll them every time. So I just kind of put mine into knots. Stay straight, surprisingly. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much just my it's not open. Um, so pretty much that's my horse box. I would recommend you do a horse box, it is really fun, really simple. I got an old plastic box, it's like that big all my stuff in it um it was really cheap it was five dollars 
I think, but I already had some in the house so, that my parents weren't using, so yeah, um, that's all my videos for today. I would try to post weekly if you guys want me to. Comment if you want me to post weekly. Like and subscribe. Um, I will see you guys next week. See ya!